Hi guys, what's up? And a lot of you. Hi guys, what's up? It's Gail. And a lot of you have been. Whew. Hi guys, what's up? It's Gail. And a lot of you have requested for a tutorial video on how I played Daisy Zombie on ukulele. However, first and foremost, I'd like to apologize if this video took so long. The reason it's because, one, we got our house fixed the past few months. Second, I wasn't a commission. I've been teaching kids how to play guitar and ukulele. Third is that my friends and I decided to spend our entire remaining summer vacation days on doing music covers. So if you happen to follow me on Instagram and you've seen me posting stories and being active, it's because of that. Oh, and um, support our band. She must love. <laughs> and last is that we're having online classes now, so. But nevertheless, it's finally here. So the first thing you have to consider before you start is that make sure your ukulele is on tune. There's actually two ways of doing that. One is by ear, which I do often. Second is by using a tool. There's actually an app called Guitar Tuna. Wait, I'll show show it to you guys. It's this app. Yeah. Download that. It's available for both iOS and Android users. By default, it'll be on guitar, so you have to click the standard button and choose ukulele. Once done, start plucking the strings one by one. And there's an indicator that tells you whether you're hitting the right pitch. So continue adjusting the tuner until it's okay. So the chords that we'll be using are basics. We'll start with C. So the way I play C is put your middle finger on the third fret. So it's over here. Um, by the way, guys, if you are new, these are the frets, the lines that you see. You don't have to necessarily put it on the line. You have to put it in between the lines. If you're going to play C, all you have to do is just put your middle finger on the third fret first string. So the way it sounds is like this. So that's your C. So the next chord is G. The way you play it is by placing your index finger on the second fret. So your second fret is here. And then you'll be putting it on the third string. So it's gonna be like this. Followed by your middle finger on the first string second fret. So it's below the index finger. And then last is by placing your ring finger on the second string third fret. It's like this. So this is gonna be your G. So the way it sounds is like this. Again from C to G. Now let's move on to F. So the F chord, put your middle finger on the fourth string, so it's this string, on the um, second fret. So it's, it's in here. And then your index finger on the second string first fret so it's like this so the way it sounds is like this so that is your f chord from c to g and then to f now our next chord is a minor assuming we're still on the f chord and we have to switch to a minor all you have to do is move out your index finger which is this one just take it out and that's it you have your A minor with you. So the way it sounds is like this. From F to A minor. So the next chord is E minor. If you play guitar, it's similar to a C chord position, but for ukulele, place your um, ring finger on the fourth fret, third string, then followed by your middle finger on the third fret, second string, and last is your index finger on the second fret first string. So it looks like this. And the way it sounds is like this. So from C to G to F to A minor and then E minor. So those are the chords that we'll be using. Since I've shown you already all the chords, um, that we'll be using, let's proceed to the strumming pattern. So um, the way I did it on my cover is um, by giving each chord a single strum. Let's say for instance it's C, it'll be like this. C, followed by G, and then an F, another one for F, another one for F, and then E minor, and then another F and one for F. So if I were to sing it, um, 
pretty, but I can die in this shot. Nothing new and nothing feels right. Deja vu, so I close my eyes. Let the demons sing me a lullaby. Today's a present that I don't want. So I'm wandering in this world. Am I really the only one? Who's been wanting to hide out from the sun and run? So for the pre-chorus, guys, um, it's gonna be a little bit different from the way that I did on my cover. It's because it's a little bit tricky and I admit that I can't explain that to you because sometimes it switches to another pattern which isn't consistent so it changes from time to time so I don't think it's gonna be easy for me to explain that so for me the easiest way to play the song is by playing it um, down up down up down up down up down for the pre chorus the chords are F followed by E minor and then an A minor and then an F and then E minor and then F and then G so if I were to sing it streaming for a dream to come true so live this life wanting something I can see and something I can preach or something that cannot exist now for the chorus part same pattern it's gonna be down up down up down up down up down but the chords will be different we're going back to C so C and then G and then an F another F another F and then an E minor and then an F it will sound like this I feel like I became a zombie not alive but I'm still walking when the sun rises upon me I'll be waiting for the day to pass by oh why now for the ad-lib guys um same chords from the chorus and then you'll be going back to verse 2 to pre-chorus and then chorus and then comes the bridge so for the bridge um the chords will be um C and then G and then an F and then another F and then E minor and then F so if I were to sing it it's gonna be like this no more of this I wanna cry try it out but feel like I should cry tell the world that I'm still here tonight oh and then you cut it you add the capo so you will be adding a capo now um the reason it's oh sorry um the reason it's because they switched the pitch of the song i i don't know if i'm saying it right but basically um it's kind of like a transition thing put it on the first fret of your ukulele instead of having the fret in here it'll be placed into the first fret because we move it we used to have the C in here right so now we're going to move it in here because this will serve as our um let me zoom this for you since we've already moved the fret same rule applies for the way that you will be adding or will be um doing the chords did i say that right this will be our third fret instead of in here it's gonna be moved in here so first second third fourth fifth and so on and so forth same chords from the chorus well, it's just gonna be in high pitch already so moving back to the chorus so it's gonna sound like this i became a zombie not alive but i'm still walking when the sun rises upon me I'll be waiting for the day to pass by, oh why I became a zombie And there's nothing that can cure me 
So tomorrow I know I'll be Just the same you'll see me wishing to stop and close my eyes So um, that's it guys, um, that's the end of the video uh, I do apologize if there are some parts that I wasn't able to explain well um, Cause um, honestly I've been filming this for 4 hours straight now um, I'm actually losing a lot of sunlight, natural light So it's quite getting dark already um, but if you have more questions, um, let me know in the comment section down. So this is my second channel by the way. I don't know if I'll be still using my main channel, but because I'm actually planning on using this instead. Because I wanted to have a fresh start. So please do subscribe. If you're new here, um, welcome. <laughs> I am Gail and I do covers, aside from tutorials like this. And if you want me to do more tutorials, um, please do comment down below. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching again. Take care guys. Bye.